Hi there and welcome to the lesson. Today we are going on working with our writing skills and we are going on working with formal and semi-formal letters. Today we are working with some instructions and some input how to write a letter having an input. Let's have a look at the theory box. Letters or emails based on written input respond to written information. It is important to include all the notes in the written information in full sentences using your own words. Always write a style appropriate to the person you are writing to. Make sure that each paragraph deals with a different topic. Итак, когда мы пишем письмо, и нам дано задание, как отреагировать на те или иные вопросы, ваша задача эту информацию обязательно включить в свое письмо. Информация дается, как правило, на уровне слова, на уровне словосочетания. Ваша задача оформить это полным предложением. Не забывайте о стиле. Иногда вам нужно написать письмо другу. Это неформальный стиль. Иногда мы пишем мало знакомым нам людям или людям старше нас. Это полуофициальный стиль. А иногда мы пишем в учреждение высокостоящим личностям. Поэтому используем формальный стиль. И не забывайте, каждая новая мысль – это отдельный абзац. So, working further, and let's have a look at the task. You have received an email for, from your English friend's mom asking you to help her with something. Read her letter and the notes you have made. Then write an email to her using all your notes. Write between 120-150 words in an appropriate style. What are the key words here? Your English friend's mom. You don't know the person very well. So you must sound respectfully. You will use semi-formal language. Then you write an email using your own notes. When we make notes, we write just a word or two. Then you tra transform them into sentences. Here is a letter from your, from your friend's mom. Dear Matthew, I'm thinking of organizing a surprise party for my son Steve's 18th birthday next month. Could you help me out? I know you two are good friends. First of all, I'm not quite sure who Steve would like to be there. Can you let me know? Also, we could have the party on Steve's birthday, which is on Thursday night, or at the weekend. What do you think? Lastly, I'll need some help with the decorations and preparations before the party. Any idea how could, who could help me? Regards, Pat Jacobs. She asked you a question. Could you help me out? Look at the note. Yes. So, you are to make up a sentence in which you agree to help Matthew's mother. Can you let me know who Steve would like to be at the party? Tell her. You are to name people who Steve would like to see at his party. Steve's birthday is on Thursday. When is it better to celebrate? On Thursday or at the weekend? You are to choose the best time and explain why. Any ideas who could help me? You are to offer your help. Now you are going to read the questions. 
Who is sending the email to whom and how are they related? Who is sending the email? Pat Jacobs, Matthew's mother. Sorry, not Matthew's, but Matthew's friends, Steve's mother. To whom? She is writing to Matthew. How are they related? They know each other. What should you write? You should write an email. What style should you use and why? You are writing to a grown-up person who you don't know very well. That's why you are to write in semi-formal style. What information should you include? You should say that you are ready to help. Help choose people for the uh, holiday. Choose the day when to celebrate and explain why. And offer your help with decorations and other preparations. Remember about opening and closing remarks. So, let's have a look at the letter. Hi! What a cool idea to have a party for Steve! I'd love to help you out. If I were you, I'd invite all Steve's friends from his class at school and from his football team too. I'll send you a list of all their email addresses, if you like. Why don't you have the party on a Friday or Saturday night? It will be tricky for everyone to come on a, on a Thursday. Also, don't worry about getting anything ready. I don't mind coming earlier to give you a hand. Lots of love, Matt. What is wrong here? Что в письме не так? Найдите ошибки и исправьте их устно. So the beginning is wrong. Hi, we can't say hi in a semi-formal letter. What a cool idea! It is uh, too colloquial. It is not an appropriate style. Short forms are not acceptable. If I were you, it's a bad idea to write if I were you in a semi-formal letter. Then, again, it is informal, why don't you have? It would be good to have a party. It would be reasonable to organize. It would be more comfortable, but not why don't you? Also, don't worry, again, short form. And uh, don't mind coming earlier to give you a hand, it is colloquial. It is good for a informal letter, but not for semi-formal. I can come earlier and help you with all the decorations and preparations. And of course, you don't write lots of love. You finish like best regards, for example. Now your task is to write a letter based on the input. It is exercise 10, page 38. Read the task carefully and include all the information you have to. For today that's all. Goodbye and good luck!